Hey guys, what is going on? My name is NoJ456, and real quick before this starts, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know some information. Basically, this is all the Intel cutscenes except for the top secret. I basically have just found all these, and if you would like to know the locations of all of them to get them yourself, first link in the description down below, and also if you wanna see the epilogue only, I have that uploaded from earlier on today when I beat this, and then I went back, got all the Intel cutscenes, so I have that also uploaded on my channel, so if you wanna check that out as well, and we're actually hunting for the top secret thing that whatever it is, we're gonna have it uploaded as soon as possible for you guys so uh sorry it's not on here sorry it's not on this little intel cutscenes but i just wanted to make sure all of you guys who uh who couldn't get the dlc were away and who were asking me to upload this could get the information and then we'll, uh, we'll upload the top secret later so if you guys still want to see that go ahead and subscribe go ahead and leave a like on this video and i'll see you guys in the next one Anything you want to say before I pull this trigger? Might want to fasten your seatbelt. The Exodus program. When the threat of a doomsday scenario became clear, a secret contingency plan was set in motion to safeguard the future of the human species. A decommissioned space station was covertly retrofitted to serve as a self-sustaining orbital sanctuary for a hand-picked crew of elite soldiers and scientists, from which one day, our descendants will strike back and reclaim the Earth. The Exodus Pro. Paleobiologists have a Latin name for this new breed of flying cryptid. The rest of us call them gargoyles. The ancestors' airborne assault troops. Silent, fast, invisible to radar, strong enough to rip the tail boom off an Apache gunship. They dominate the airspace over our cities and launch facilities. We'll never get off the ground if we can't find a way to break through. Paleo the cortex, the ace of our sleeve. The preserved brain tissue of a living ancestor in a casing designed for transporting donor organs. I don't pretend to understand the science. It sucks up bioelectric energy, stores it like a psychic battery, then detonates like a neutron bomb. They say the radiation is harmless to humans. I doubt that. But when the pulse is focused and amplified, it'll flash by a cryptid's brain in less than a second. The Ancestors. Our people have been studying the data collected during the Ark Raid, but we still don't know exactly what we're up against. They possess both telepathic and telekinetic abilities. Their physical bodies are relatively fragile, but they can project a powerful gravimetric field to deflect attacks and perhaps even levitate. We suspect the Ancestors are virtually impervious to small arms fire while the field is active. It's possible that the experimental weaponry Archer developed can even the odds. The answer. The Colorado Ark was only one of dozens, perhaps hundreds, of ancestor strongholds. The citadels of the prehistoric empire that once spanned the globe, and will soon do so again. We lost Washington in the first eight hours. San Antonio, Colorado Springs, every military center in North America annihilated. The president is dead. I'm in command of what's left of the United States. We are overrun and surrender is not an option. There is only one refuge left, beyond the enemy's reach. This is David Archer. I know what you're thinking, but you're wrong. You've got it wrong about a lot of things, like Samantha Cross. She's a sleeper. A double agent. Everything that's happened, everything that's about to happen aboard your space station, it's all part of the plan. Their plan, General. 
They left me for dead once. Later, they saved my life. We're on the same side now, but I'm not the same person. Maybe not even human anymore. I can sense their fear. They're wondering if they should kill me. <laughs> it's a bit late for that. Samantha Cross died months ago on a cold night in Alaska. They left me. repeats itself. One species falls, another rises to take its place. Countless lives were sacrificed so that a chosen few might be saved. They believed my power could make the difference between survival and extinction. 